Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install CW Cheat on your PSP with the firmware of 6.x, 6 6.xx, custom firmware, sorry. So I couldn't get remote joylight to work on my PS3, PSP, so I'm just going to do it separately. Alright, so now on your computer side, you have to download the thing, link in the description below, and uh, you're going to have to, one second. So it's these two files, and I'll put the link in the description, be description below, and you're going to want to open both of them. And now I'm going to do it specifically for Persona, Persona 2, which is my favorite PSP game. And uh, since people cannot find cheats for that one, I'm just going to do it for that one. So you want to extract this one, and here's a cheat.prx file. Now go to your uh, PSC on your computer. You go to SC plugins folder. If you don't have one, just create one. And uh, you're going to want to create a new folder called CW cheat. And you're just going to drag this one in to here, as you can see. But I already have it in it, so I'm not going to do it. And now you're going to have to drag these two files in. And this, this cheat database.db file is a cheat database. And it already has some cheats in it, but it's not game specific. So if you want, if you want to. If you want cheats for a specific game, you're going to have to look for it yourself. Now, since I'm going to do it for Persona 2, so here's my cheat file. Alright, so you want to have a Notepad++ to edit database files, or you can just open it with uh, uh, Notepad, but I recommend this one. Okay, so you open this one, and uh, I will put this file in the, in the link in the description below, so just in case you want it. And here's the cheats for Persona 2, United States version. And uh, let me just minimize this one right here. So you drag these two files in, and you modify the cheat database file, and you drag this one in. Now you're going to have to go back, and you go to uh, games.txt. If you don't have one, just create a new one. It's a text document. And you're going to double-click it and open it, and you're going to add this line right here. Okay, so I'm just going to write it again on the new file. Uh, oops. So it's so this one is for PSP 1000 to 3000, but for PSP Go, I have no idea how to do it because it has HDD instead of a memory stick. So if you want to know how to do it, you might have to go search for other videos. So you do um, MS0 um, SE plugins. CW cheat and you do CW cheat dot PRX and you press one. So one here stands for enabled and if it's set to zero it's disabled. Okay, just write it there so you guys can see it. And uh, aside from that you can just uh, write this in your game.txt file and go ahead and save it. Well I'm not gonna save that one since that's just a scratch. So go ahead and Save this one, and uh, now after that, you're gonna want to go to your CW cheat folder. Oh, okay, never mind. I already talked about that. So after that, you're gonna want to go to your PSP, which I will do it later, and it's gonna be one video. So stay so tuned. On your PSP, you're gonna have to press the select button on your in your XMB menu. Uh, where is it? Let me find it. Now, as you can see, you go to. Uh, let me just focus it real quick. Come on, zoom it. Okay, so now you go to recovery menu. And as you can see, you scroll down to plugins. And you're going to make sure that CW cheat game is enabled. If it's not enabled, for example, if I just disable it real quick, you're going to want to press the X button on your PSP and enabled it okay so that's done after that you just go to your games like I said I'm gonna do it for Persona 2 specifically so what you have to do is you go ahead and launch your game
Let me just get the scenes real quick. And, uh, once you're in the menu, you're, you're going to want to hold. Remember, it's hold. Your select button for about three seconds. And now you're going to go to enable cheats. So since I already uh, modified a database file for specifically, specifically, sorry, for this game, um, after you enable the cheats, you get to select cheats, and you can uh, enable these three cheats separately if you feel like it. Now you go back, and uh, that's it. Just uh, return the game and one second. Let me just do it real quick. Or you can just click the circle button, but just I'm just doing it for, you know, just in case something goes wrong. So, now you can just go ahead and load your game and enjoy. Thanks for watching.